you believed you were watching a rare flower brought from a far-off tropical forest, you'd very likely say, quite truly, how lovely. So we'd better tell you right away that this is only a broad beam, very ordinary, very beautiful. Watch it unfolding in the sunshine. The broad beam closes at the approach of rain. But its cousin, the scarlet runner, opens and remains unfolded all the time, defying the weather. The middle of the flower is formed like a snail shell, and in the shell there is a brush. Here, if you weigh down the left lower petal, the brush is pushed out. Here is the petal working the brush in real life. The brush comes out covered with pollen, which has been kept well protected from wind and rain inside the shell. A bee, looking for honey, weighs down the petal, brings out the brush and gets covered with pollen. Here comes Bertie again. We simply can't keep him out of secrets of nature. He gets a brush full of pollen on the face. The idea is that he'll carry it away to some other bean flower that will brush it off him and get fertilized in the process. Like an actor in a custard pie comedy, Bertie sometimes gets an eyeful. Bees find nothing funny in this kind of joke and are learning to approach the flower sideways and to avoid being prodded. If the bee leaves pollen from another bean on the brush, each grain of pollen puts out a thread to fertilize a seed at the base of the flower. Now that they are no longer needed, the petals wither and are thrown off by the seed case as it develops. Inside the case, the beans are arranged neatly, one on the left, one on the right, so that when the case curls open, each bean is shut off at a different angle. The seed is a kind of armor-plated nursery for a new bean plant. The outer skin is very tough and contains a solid store of food on which the baby bean thrives. To grow well, it needs water as well as food. So in the outer armor, there is one chink, here. When the bean gets wet, the case crinkles up, thus providing enough suction to draw drops of water down the hole. The runner bean is the Samson of the plant world, and training entirely on water, it had no trouble in knocking out a slab of concrete. In early spring, the bean begins to grow. The young leaves are very frail, so the plant turns the stalk over to form a shoulder which breaks through the case.
The shoulder is also used for pushing upwards through the earth. The French bean wears a seed case as a kind of helmet to cover the young leaves until they are well above the ground. On the other hand, the broad bean has a gadget like a tin opener behind the leaves. There it is coming out now. With the opener, it cuts its way towards the light. Once above the ground, the leaves of the bean unfurl. They play in the sunshine, but like all young things, they get very tired in the evening and hang down to rest. Meanwhile, below the ground, the roots are gathering nourishment from the soil. And being well fed, the young scarlet runner soon feels energetic enough to grow rapidly. begins feeling around, hoping to find a support upon which it can climb. Just as it is beginning to feel really anxious, it discovers a bean pole. To begin with, it feels its way very carefully. However, once it is reassured, it throws itself round the pole with abandon. Notice how it always climbs from left to right. The discovery that there is nothing more to climb produces a state of mind that begins to border on his tear. But this soon calms down. For now, it is summer, and the time for the opening of the flower has come again. <laughs>